In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use Draggan locally on your Linux terminal. I have been trying this Draggan since yesterday and I have already spent a few hours. It is still very buggy and inconsistent how it works. So by the time you see this video and the commands don't work, then I would suggest that instead of calling me names, go to the repo of Draggan and make sure that you are using the latest steps because they I have I can see that they are still updating this repository and updating the steps and uh, removing the errors and typos which are already present. So but these steps when I tried them out on my Linux terminal they work but still I was unable to make it work on AWS SageMaker notebook. On my Linux terminal I am using AWS uh, G4 DN X large instance uh, which worked fine because at least you should have 12 gigabit of memory with your GPU. Okay. And yes, yeah, sorry, one more thing. You need to have 20 gig of disk space to download the models. And if you don't know what Dragon is, Dragon is an generative AI image editor through which you can simply by dragging and dropping and extending the points, you can alter the images. Okay. Now let's see what are the steps to install it i have already put in all the steps on my blog and i'll share the link to it in video's description the first thing which you need to do is to clone this repo in order to grab this url go back to that repo and from this repo go at the top click on this code green button and then grab this url by clicking on this copy button once you have it just run git clone and this url and that will create a drag and directory on your local system from there cd to it and i'm simply using amazon linux uh, too so you should be good with that one now third step which you uh, need to do is to change this environment.yaml file in this file first change you need to make is to change this code toolkit version from 11.1 .1 to 11.31 so let me also show you that environment.yaml file and see the original one where we are making the changes. So when you clone this repository, this environment.yaml file will be on your local system. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that this thing, CUDA toolkit 11.1, .1, should be 11.3.1, like I have done here. 11.3.1. .1. And sorry, this should be CUDA. There is typo here, so ignore this. You, the directory name uh, the package name should be CUDA toolkit so the only change you need to make is to change 11.1 .1 to 11.3.1 .1. this is one change you need to make then second change you need to make is to cut this skippy is equal to 1.11.0 and move it into the pip section like this so cut it from the pip section uh, oh, sorry, dependency section and move it down to pip section and then just add one equal to here. So skippy is equal to is equal to 1.11.0. These are the only changes which you need to make. Once that's done, in the step four, just uh, run this conda environment create at dash f environment dot shamel. Now, once you will run it, for me, the first time when it worked, it took around um, more than 30 minutes to create it and sometimes it just fails so this is the step where i have struggled the most because sometimes it works sometimes it just times out so it is just hit and trial now um that is the problem which i've been facing with this one but as i said it worked uh first time it worked it took around 30 minutes to finish so just be patient with it once that's done you need to activate this environment uh, style can 3 once you will activate it six uh, step is to install all the requirement now um, for example if you go to their repository and let me go back there and show you so if you go down in the steps this is a command so they have typo here this should be requirements.txt so i'm hoping that they will fix it sooner rather than later but anyway so you need to run this command and this also again take a bit of a time so be patient with it but that will finish without any issues once you pass this step four i think rest should be easy and 
um, seamless then in the step number seven you need to download the models because as you can see in this model we have line we have dog for every image type we have a different set of data so you need to download all of these if you want to play around with these and then this is the command which worked for me to starting the gui the command which is mentioned in their repository didn't work for me and then let me show you the command this is the command this never worked for me in linux so this is the command which worked for me with the visualizer track radio and they have also mentioned it in some other repo but anyway so you can this use this command this will um, give you a url to open in your browser now if you are using aws stage maker notebook then this should be the um, proper url to access it replace this test or something something with your stage maker notebook url and simply add proxy slash 7860 report at the end because that is the only way to open this url as a local host on your aws stage maker notebook and then you should be able to see something like this on your screen where you can uh, play around with it if you are using a local host in linux simply open it like this on your local host and i've also put in the github repo link in here and it will be also in the video's description so i hope that this will help you out again uh, apologies that i wasn't able to show you live because i have tried few times and it never worked um, the second or third time so um, but i can show you that it works sometimes anyway i hope that they improve this code and these instructions as soon as possible because it's an awesome tool and really heads off to all of these um, contributors and also the creators of this great tool thanks for listening and if you like it please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much